Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to show you how I made the Big Bash of Slime. Um, so, what you need, I'm going to show you two different ways. Um, the second way I haven't really tried yet. So, Where we'll find out together if that works out or not. Okay. Um, stop. Okay, first off, what you need for this first, for the first recipe is a big bowl. I purchased these at the dollar store. They were two for a dollar. They're um, probably about two times the size of a regular bowl. Wow. Then you need something to measure with. Um, I can't find no measuring cups. So every time I use a mason jar, they have measurements on the side here. So that's what I use. Um, then you will need something to put your mixture in. I have two different bowls for each one. Yeah, this should have been thrown in the trash. Repurpose it. <laughs> um, and then I have this little cup. So you need another cup, uh, another cup for um, your water mixture. Then you need um, hot water. So you'll need to, you know, a cup for your hot water. So stop. Okay, and then you'll need something to store your slime in. If you're not going <clears> to, <throat> you know, something big enough to store your slime in. This is what I use to store mine in. Y'all seen it in the last video. So, it's just, I think it's a 9 by 11 um, baking dish. So, with something that seals. As long it, as, long as it seals properly. It'll be good. Okay, so watch the first batch. What we're gonna do? Oh, and of course your glue. I have the big gallon of Elmer school glue. I think it's like twenty dollars most places. Um, the clear gallon, I believe, is a little bit more expensive. It's like twenty four dollars. So the, the clear slime, in my opinion, does look better than the. Uh, than the white slime, but you know, oh well, to each their own, you know, some people like different things. Oh. And my co star's back, so if you hear a noise in the background or me telling her to stop, you know what that's for. Um, or anything random on the screen like that, that would be her. Um, so anyway, first off, what you would do, first off, what you would do is you would take, and I'm going to take and measure out a cup of hot water. And pour it into one of my cups so we'll use this one i'm just going to pour that in my cup that might have been a tad small oh well and then we're going to take a cup of water that's a little bit over a cup but oh well. and keep it in our measuring container um Sorry, guys. Okay, so you have your cup of water for to mix your um, activator, and then you have your cup of water to put in your bowl. So I'll just go ahead and put that in there because I should have done the glue first, but I will. Um, and then I'm going to take my. Move that out of the way for that. And I'm going to take my measuring uh, thing and measure out a cup and a half of glue. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. So, we have... 
a cup and a half of glue. And then just you just pour the glue into your bowl with the water. <clears throat> As I said, I probably should have done the glue first and then rinse it out with the water, but I didn't. Because somebody's distracting me at her. But I don't guess it really matters, so. So, you take that, and I'm going to take just a tad bit of water and rinse around in this so I don't waste this glue. Not a whole lot, but, you know. Try to get as much out of the hand. Stop! Yeah. And I'm still going to end up wasting a pretty good bit. So what you do is you just mix all that up. Just make sure till the glue is pretty much water-like. Just make sure the glue and the water are combined. I'm sorry y'all, for this recipe you do need borax and I forgot to say that. But it's a little bit thicker of course than the water. But you just want to make sure that it's not as thick as the glue. I'm not in good, I'm not very good with telling people how to do things or what you actually need. So, hopefully this will be educational to some of y'all and it'll make sense. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that that's pretty, that, that's pretty mixed, well mixed up. So at this point, we'll take our other cup. Mine blue, mine blue. this out of the way for a second. <clears throat> Take our other cup and take and put. Hold on, my baby. If I can get this open, we will. Yeah, it's good. Why do I need it? Why is it when you try trying to be in a hurry, it's hard to crap open everything. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to take a teaspoon of borax and just put it into my water. And mix that up. And just mix that up until there's no borax left. In there. And that looks pretty good to mix up. So we'll take, then you take your activator and just pour some over in your bowl and start mixing that and as you can see it's already starting to form slime just keep mixing it around until that you got all that what you put in there in there <coughs> and then just add as much as you need or as little or as much as you need to make the slime. So let's do it. And we do it, we do it. a little bit more in there. This bowl makes a huge batch too. I mean, it's a pretty decent sized batch. So if you don't want to go with as much, then don't use such a big bowl. And kind of cut down on your ingredients a little bit. I like slime. I like slime. 
game. I might swallow. Yeah. Do, do this. Let's do this. So you can see in the middle it's starting to form. So just keep adding. Ah, miss it. It comes away from the bowl. Just keep mixing and adding until you're satisfied with what it looks like. I'll I'm going to continue mixing this up okay. and I'll be back when it's incorporated. Okay guys, so I've got no, it to where Dad. it needs to be. So now you can just start mixing it up with your hands. And that's pretty much what that looks like. Right. And if you don't want it to be as crumbly or, you know, if you want it to be a little bit yeah. thicker, uh, thinner, don't add as much water. Oh, add less water and more glue. Oh, and then I'm just going to take this batch and put it over here in my container. And I'll just swap it in there. And uh, this container holds about two batches. It can hold up to four batches at a time. So I'll just put that in there and then we'll start on the second batch. Okay, guys, for this second batch, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need your measuring tool, your glue, um, your hot water, your bowl. You're going to need a separate bowl. Contact lens solution. Um, the contact lens solution, from what I understand, has to have boric acid and citrum sodium borate in it or it will not work okay and then you need baking soda so what we're going to do is we're going to get our glue and again it's going to be the same measurement so i'm going to do a cup and a half of the glue Got our cup and a half of glue. Pour that in the bowl. And try to get as much out as we can. Stop. And then you're going to take and put a cup of water, a cup of your water, in your measuring utensil. Stop. This one you don't have to have a separate bowl. I don't usually use a separate bowl. Um, but you can if you want to. I haven't ever tried regular glue this way. So. And then you take and put a, tea, I mean a tablespoon of baking soda in your water. And then you mix all that together. I'm sorry, I'm off screen a little bit with that. Just mix that all together until the baking soda is dissolved. You can mix it in with the glue if you put the water in the glue, but I prefer to do it like this because if you don't, you kind of have some chunky stuff in there. So I just prefer to put it in the water. And then once you have all that dissolved, you just put the mixture in your bowl. No more. This go to. This go to. And mix it up. 
Just like you did the other one. I want to figure out which one of these is the best way to do it too because I don't really like this with the borax. It kind of makes it a little thicker and not as much slime like. But. So you just keep mixing that until it's all the way done. And all the glues mix well together. And then you take your contact lens solution and start squirting that in there. And you just keep a little bit at a time squirting it in there and mixing it up. can see it starting to form slime. Okay guys, sorry I had to stop for a second. But if I've also realized that if you kind of take and try to mix it as you're putting it in there, it kind of helps you out a little bit. I have noticed that it takes quite a bit of contact lens solution to do this. For the bigger batches of slime. So, yeah, but. And look at me making a mess all over the place. Yeah, mess. Quite a mess. Yeah. Just keep stirring it and stirring it and stirring it until it gets the way the slime's supposed to be. And I'm going to get this done, and when I get it done, I will come back. See y'all in a minute. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So, it's all mixed up, and now I'm trying to mix it up with your hands. I can say it feels somewhat different than the stuff you make with the borax. I think it's stretchier too. Um, I don't know. It may just be me. But there it is. So, yeah. There it is. And I always put mine in this container. I let it sit overnight before I add anything else. Um, I have let it sit there for up to four days. I have let it sit for up to four days before actually messing with it, and it's completely fine. So here's the no. Here's the one that I made just you know previously. And then, we're just going to dump this one in there. Um, but this one kind of breaks apart a little bit easier than that one. So, I don't know if this is a difference in ingredients or what. But, but that one kind of tends to not stretch as much. Oh, yes. Yes. But anyway, and then see this one. Seems to stretch pretty well, and I use the same measurements of everything except for the activator. So I'm gonna let these settle, and then, um, and tomorrow or the day after, I will start making different slimes with it. And like I said, it stays, you know, stays fine unless I've left it up to up there with it, you know, for four days and still haven't had a problem with it. So, uh, that, so anyway, there it is. Um, 
and just two batches like that makes half a container, uh, half of this container. So I probably could make two more batches and fill, fill it completely up, but for what I need this for, two batches is fine. So there that is and as always guys thanks for watching if you have any comments please comment like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one bye